That even looks a little better. That's weird. Okay. Disorienting at all? <laughs> okay. What I have here is a microwave transmitter. He microwaves at you. And a microwave receiver. If I turn up the volume on it, you can see that this is very directional. You got microwaves right there. And then I have this, which is made from some foam board, which is lightweight, which doesn't really affect the microwaves very much. And it is filled with these, they call them pony beads. Why do they call them pony beads? Does anybody know? No. Nope. Is this a, okay. And uh, the effect of the pony beads is that it uh, changes the dielectric uh, constant, the permeativity, the uh, permeability inside here, and it creates a prism to these microwaves at this wavelength. The hole in the bead doesn't uh, affect it that much. The microwave is actually much larger than the bead itself. So the bulk material, so if we turn it there, and we put this prism in the way, we get it lined up just right. There we go. We're blocking the microwaves and we find that out here they're being reflected by the prism. So microwaves in there, bounce off the edge, the microwaves out there. Not so many there. So what you see, the wave, here's my wave function. <laughs> there we go. So the wave function can exist here inside the material, in this region, may do it that way, can exist inside the material, but going out of the material it's forbidden because of this uh, change in the, uh, uh, the permea permeability. So the uh, edge of the material represents a barrier since it comes in at an angle like it does. And the probability for the wave existing outside the material decreases uh, rather rapidly. So we see it's not coming in. However, if we uh, would change the length of this material, there you can see there's still some probability inside the barrier. If we change the width of that material, you can uh, get a uh, wave out. So I'm going to do this by putting in another prism. And if I get it in within it, it drops off exponentially, so within uh, the write-up I saw, I said about half a wavelength. It allows the microwaves to go through this gap. They're perfectly reflected by this, but they go through there. Quantum weirdness. <laughs> So nothing, nothing is getting through our prism. <laughs> it gets around it a little bit. Unless we change the width of that gap. So then the question is, where exactly does the wave reflect? Does it reflect at the barrier? Does it reflect somewhere outside the barrier? Is it really reflecting in there? We don't detect it out there. But where does it reflect? It doesn't reflect. 